Hello friends, welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. In this session, I would like to explain few problems we come across while drafting in AutoCAD and solutions. The first thing which I'm going to cover is command line missing. I generally used to type every command at the command prompt and execute it. So some people may be using toolbars, but this is for those who generally use command bar. Okay, so if command line is missing, what to do? We have different options. The first thing is go to tools menu and you can click command line option over here or you can also press control nine. This is one of the option. If that is not available or if the menu is not available in your AutoCAD, then you can do one thing. You can press F2 function key and there you can type command line and press enter so that you will get back your command prompt. Okay. Okay. The second one is menu bar missing. Let us say you don't have menu bar. So to get it back, you can go to quick access toolbar over here and pick this last button. And here on the bottom, you will have show menu bar option here. So just click that one. You will get back your menu bar like this. Okay. And then when you try to open a file, you don't get a dialog box to select the file it means file selection dialog box will not open. Let me show you that one. If you go to file menu and click open option, you don't get file selection dialog box. You will be asked to select the file at the command prompt only like this. So to get file selection dialog box, we have a system variable in AutoCAD that is file dia means file dialog box. Type this at the command prompt and enter value one so that if you type open at the command prompt, you will get dialog box or you can also select it from the file menu like this. So you will get the file selection dialog box. The next one is able to select only one object at a time. Let us say if you select objects one by one like this, the previous selection will be left and only the current selection will exist. This is because there is another system variable in AutoCAD which is called pick add that is set to zero. So you need to set it to one. If you set it to one, automatically the selection will continue. You can have any number of selections at a time. Pre-selection does not work. This is non-verbal selection actually. This means generally some people select objects first of all and then they will issue the command. Say I have selected one object and now I want to move them. So if I go to move command and click that one, it is again asking to select object it means already selected objects are left and again it is asking. Let me show you once again. Just select this circle and I am asking to move that one. You can see it is again asking to select objects. This is because there is another variable called pick first variable P I C K F I R S T. If this variable is set to zero, then you cannot select first and execute the command next. So this also can be changed in options dialog box type op at command prompt and press enter then you will get op options dialog box and then go to selections tab and you can switch on noun verb selection so that you can select objects first of all and then you can issue the command later so that it will execute the next one is can't edit text with a double click means if you double click a text the editing option will not open means the editing will not be opened that is also because of this pick first variable only. If you set pick first variable to one, sometimes unknowingly it gets changed. So if you set it to one, you can edit by double clicking a text object. If pick first variable is set to zero, then you cannot edit a text by double clicking simply. Okay. And then hatching a polygon with text inside. Let us say, so let me join this so that it will become single entity. Now I want to hatch this square. So take hatch command and already some hatch is there. Just go to select objects and select this rectangle and press enter. You can go to preview option. You can see the text object is also covered with hatching. So to let the text object open and remaining area only to be covered with hatch, then we need to select the text object also along with the polygon. Then the text will be kept open and remaining area will be hatched and just increase the scale to five times and make a preview. 
here now you can see the text is not covered with the hatching why because text is selected along with the boundary polygon and the text will have a bounding box which is left without hatching so when you select objects you just select text or whatever inside it so that they will be left open okay you can press enter to finish the hatching similarly if you want to add other text entities after the hatch is already done then let me show you that one also let us say there is another text over here and i want to open the hatching over here so simply go to hatch edit command he select the hatch and then click add select objects and select this text also and say okay you can see this text is also added to hatch object so that that is also not covered with the hatching sometimes people say object snap is on but it's not working let us say let me draw one line from this corner to this middle point see the object snap is on when i go to this corner it is not showing the end point this is because the end point object snap is set is not set on so go to object snap settings and add the required object snaps even though it is on the required snaps must be set to on they must be checked on then only they will be displayed while drafting some people will be trying to select the object snaps without issuing any command it is not possible the object snaps are displayed only while a command is in run so make sure that you are running a command then only then only object snaps will be displayed and sometimes people also asked me pick means i want to draw something at a point but unable to pick that point let me show you that one i want to draw a line from this corner to this middle point but the cursor is jumping away this is because a setting called snap here you can see on the status bar this is set on and the distance set in that snap command is more than required so the cursor jumps whatever the value set in that snap mode let me show you so type snap at command prompt you can see the value 5 is set over there you just simply switch off this and now if you try to draw a line you can pick any point whichever you want okay but if you switch on it and set its value more than the required then you cannot pick the required points like this so the cursor will be jumping every 5 units okay so that the point required if it is not in the grid then it will not be selected so make sure that this snap setting is switched off the snap setting is only for particular purpose and don't get confused with snap and object snap object snap is used to select certain points on objects snap is used to move the cursor at given distance intervals means to pick the points at certain intervals we will be controlling the mouse movement for that purpose we will be using snap but object snap is used to pick the required points like end mid intersection center insertion point like that on the existing objects now the last one can't change layer of entities in a block see if this block is in zero layer and its color is by layer but still it has yellow and red color in it if you select this block and keep its color as by layer then on, then also it is showing yellow and red color why because the inside two lines are drawn in different layer which has other colors so to change that one you can take be block edit command and select corresponding block and save ok then select the objects which are drawn in other layers other than zero and change them to zero layer ok and then close block editor it will ask you do you want to save the changes to c1 simply click that one now you can see the block entities are changed to zero layer and color by layer so make sure that when you create blocks it is a custom to create the blocks in single layer or in zero layer so that when its color is set to by block it will be applied automatically so friends hope you understood different problems that we come across in autocad and the solutions for them thanks for watching and welcome to the next session friends if you like this video 
please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session